sometimes as adults, we will fall down into that primal level of consciousness, projecting a feeling into someone else, and then subtly provoking that person Mm -hmm. to demonstrate the feeling. So projective identification has a a real interactional uh, component of, I want you to feel something, to do something, to empathize with me, to pick up my feelings, to carry something for me. And it's unconscious to unconscious communication. Oceanic union. If we felt abandoned by our parents, we might project onto our partner that he's going to abandon us. The next part of it, the identification, is that the person who is receiving the projection feels an unconscious pull to behave in the way that matches the projection. It has a self-fulfilling prophecy to it where you induce the other person to do the thing that you are worried that they'll do. What's important to know about projective identification is that it is unconscious. It is automatic, and it comes straight from the unconscious. Oceanic union with another person. Straight from the unconscious. The psyche wants the safety and connection of that oceanic merging with another person. The traits of the distressed person comes distributed in -hmm. the oceanic field, so there is no clear sense of where I am and where you are oceanic union. And if this person doesn't make me instantly happy, they are out the door splitting. Either my frustrations and needs are going to be met, or the person is bad, and I'm not going to be okay until I get somebody who is always Mm -hmm. going to be the good breast for me. Gratifying, right? That other person Mm -hmm. should be gratifying. At all times. There's no tolerance for yeah. a frustration. Gratifying. At all times. Oceanic union. Projective identification is really just communication. You don't have yes. the ability to, right. re- to really say, well, gosh, I am feeling really terrified. I need to really take that on board and maybe I can ask for empathy. It's like too much. So instead you revert to, let me see if I can make you feel as distressed as I feel. Oceanic union. You're kind of lashing out at someone unconsciously. Let me induce you into having this this big reaction. So it's like an invitation to dance. Oceanic union. The passive aggressive person often has no sense of their own anger about something. And so they'll behave in ways that induce anger in other people Mm -hmm. and then distance themselves because the other person is so unpleasant. And they feel that they're being, you know, mistreated. The healing comes from recognizing what it is that we are disowning and to actually have conscious experience of the thing that we keep inducing in other people. Rage and powerlessness are often heads and tails of the same coin. For those of you that are receiving these, maybe you'll be able to see how you're being provoked and be able to understand it differently and be somewhat more resilient and bring it to the forefront. It's like an invitation to dance. Oceanic union with another person. 